Hi Canes fans, it's James Barrett Sterling here with another edition of KTV for you. Now look, one week today will be on the eve of a new Isthmian Premier Division season. It's almost here, but the boys have been doing us proud in pre-season as well. We've got one more run out away at Hayes and Yedin tomorrow, three o'clock kickoff. I've been joined by two of Hayden's heroes. It's Fabio Zariva and Kenny Beanie. Lads, thanks for joining us. Um, just to start with, um, Obviously, big news in football the last 24 hours. I assume he was at training last night. The gaffer and the chairman must have moved heaven and earth to, to get him down there. What, what What's he like? Kenny's all right, to be fair. Yeah, good player. <laughs> <laughs> what an end of an era, though, isn't it, for, for Lionel Messi, obviously. What, what camp do you guys sit in? Are you um, Messi or Ronaldo? Where do you sit? Messi. <laughs> I think they're just both incredible, to be fair. Um, just different leagues, both of them. Yeah, I'm, I'm with you, Ken. But, I mean, to be fair, the numbers both of them put out are pretty amazing. So, um, Kenny, how was um, training last night? Obviously, the bonds on the pitch are seemingly apparent. Um, is that right that the, the boss hasn't had you guys doing a lot of harsh running this pre-season? Um, uh, it's not, not as been as bad as some of these pre-seasons have been. But it's been uh, short and sharp, um, lung-busting runs. It's been good. To be honest, it's been good. It's been hard work. The team's coming together now, so it's looking promising. Yeah, the the the, the work ethic and the kind of the energy levels have been quite apparent um, during the pre-season. So do you feel this has been kind of an effective way to get you guys sharp and ready rather than doing the long runs and up the hills and to beaches and all that sort of thing some people do? Yeah, I think it's kind of changed from years ago where you used to do the long long, long runs through the forest and up the hills. I think it's kind of changed from that. It's got a little more, a bit more short, sharp, timed runs, dynamic stuff. Um, uh, yeah, it's definitely changed, but it's, it's still still hard. Lots of work with the ball, which is obviously good to improve technique and touch and stuff like that, I'd imagine. Yeah, it, yeah, it is. Yeah, it is. Good stuff. And Fabio, it was great to see you come on against uh, Tunbridge last Saturday. After all the lockdown postponements and, you know, waiting for so long, to have an injury, what just as everyone was coming back, must have been very frustrating. Yeah, very frustrating, especially when it's your own teammate that smashes in training. But no, it was it was um, frustrating, but um, it happens in football's part of the game. Um, so I'm just glad to be back again and, and training and, and playing. Now, are you going to out who did it? I didn't realise it was the training accident. <laughs> it wasn't no. me. <laughs> yeah, for once it wasn't Beanie. <laughs> um, no, it was Harry. It was just a, it was just a collision that um, our knees collided and I come off a little bit worse than he did. But um, it's, it's part and parcel of the game. And how did you feel after your your cameo on on Saturday? Do you feel like you're back in contention to give Hayden another option? Yeah, definitely. I, I feel good. Um, I've not played football in a long time in terms of competitive um, match, so it was good to to get some minutes under my belt and hopefully I can get a few more tomorrow as well. Excellent. Um, Kenny, just coming back to you, this pre-season, you boys have been flying, really, four wins and a draw from the, the first six outings. What's been your take on the games and, and the performances in general? I just think uh, the bond's uh, really good between the team. I think we're playing fluent football. I think the signings we've made uh, have definitely um, it's moved us forward. And I think the more we play together, the better we're going to become. So it's very promising for us. Just personally, what's impressed me the most is the, the composure and the kind of never say die attitude, really, um, especially when we've been behind as well. We've always managed to get positive results, even against Tunbridge to come from 2-0 down to get a draw last Saturday was really good. How, how does that kind of foster amongst the, the group and, and ferment, um, especially with the new faces coming in? Yeah, I think I think it was a good test. I think we've been we've been in front of a lot of the games, so it's uh, it was a different test for us, and I thought we come through it well. Showed a, we didn't play great, I don't think, but we showed a lot of character, and it's just what you wanted pre-season, different tests. Which one? Which game for you has been the the most hardest or the most impressive result? Do you think was it the the Wimbledon game maybe, or coming back at Eastbourne? I thought the Dorking game is probably the hardest game we've had. Um, where we all just come back. You gotta remember from lockdown, been up, been out for a long time, and I thought we all done really well in that game. It was a like a good account of ourselves against a good, very good. To be honest, it should be a national a national prem team. So yeah, that was the hardest one I, I think so far. Nice and and Fabio turning our attention to tomorrow. Hayes and Yedin away, the last friendly. We played them 
uh, last November in which was what was our last kind of competitive friendly, shall we say, until the lockdown? What kind of test do you think we're going to face? Yeah, I think it'll be a really tough test. Um, they're in an equivalent league to ours. And to be honest, they'll definitely be up there in their league. They've got some really good players. Um, so it's going to be a really challenging game, that's for sure. Um, we know each game has different challenges and tomorrow will definitely be a difficult one. Um, but we've prepared well um, and we're looking forward to it as well. So obviously one 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 last pre-season game before the um, season. So obviously we've got to um, give the manager something to think about as well as obviously feeling ready as a team to for Haringey Borough in the first game. And, and just how exciting is it to have our first league game back at home? We've got quite healthy crowds against Wimbledon and, and Tunbridge. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. Um, so it'd be good to get a few in on the 14th, won't it? What would that mean to you and the boys so you can put a show on for the fans? Yeah, I, I think it'd be brilliant. Obviously, there was a good atmosphere um, for the Wimbledon game. I didn't play, but I was in and amongst the crowd and, and it was a very good atmosphere. So if we can keep that sort, sort of buzz going um, and if we start picking up results as well, then I'm sure a few more will start attending as well. So no, definitely um, it makes a difference for us as players. Um, I think we lift ourselves a little bit more. So no, it's, it's just good to be back out there and hopefully, obviously for the first competitive game, it's always it's always that extra bit special as well. Excellent. And, and just finally, um, for both of you, last week, um, Gus announced part of the 12th man initiative, uh, an outing with the, the squad at some point, maybe in September or October. And he said, Dan Ajakai and, and Jerry Pumo have got the K's dance floor on lockdown. Are you guys having that or is there a, another dark horse that's got a few moves? I won't put myself in there, that's for sure. I Coop. think Coops is a bit of a move. Coop. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm, I'm a Coopy, yeah. 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 He does that Irish dancing, so I know he's be really, really good. What, the old Michael Flatley banter? Yeah, he's got to be a that about him. He's got the lot, to be fair. Yeah. Well, up yeah. until last last Saturday, he was our top goal scorer in pre-season, wasn't he? So, I mean, he's, he's not just a defender. He's a He's got goals in him, and now he, he can do Lord of the Dance, apparently. Yeah, yeah. He's doing everything at the moment. <laughs> God, I can't wait to get Coops on here. I've got loads of questions for him. Um, gentlemen, <laughs> thank you very much for joining us. Uh, Case fans, as I say, the last pre-season friendly is tomorrow, Saturday, the 7th of August, kick, kick off three o'clock at Hayes and Yedin. And then the big one, obviously, on the 14th of August at home against Haringey Borough. Hopefully all of you can make it along. But for now, I've been James Brown Sterling for KTV and we'll bring you another edition very soon. Cheers, thank you.